Right, here we are for the how to edit our postcode map using Illustrator. Now, the folder that you've downloaded will be a compressed zip folder and it'll be named something like postcode area map. Now, within here you'll see various different file formats. They won't all be the same as this depending on which package you've bought, but in this one we can open up a postcode area map in Adobe Illustrator CS3 by double clicking. Now, up pops the map. I pressed Control 0 or Command 0 to centre the map and centre the zoom. Now it's simply a case of selecting either the black or the white arrow from up here in the tool panel, clicking on an area, actually we'll use the black one, click on an area and then make sure that the fill colour, that's the stroke colour, that's the fill colour, make sure the fill colour is at the front and then select a fill colour. Select another area. Now if we want that fill colour to be the same as that one, we can just do it using this, the eyedropper tool, like so. Select another area, like so, eyedropper, and there we go. Now if we don't want to chop and change by keeping on going over here to this panel, what we can do is press the command key or the control key. The control key will turn your cursor back into an arrow. So can now select there, let go of the control key, it'll turn back to the eyedropper and we can complete the map like so. Now if we want to select a different colour, click an area, make sure the fill colour is selected at the front, select a different colour. We'll make it um, that colour and then we can go around colouring the map like so. And that's really about it. Thank you for watching. Oh, you might want to save it. Sorry. Um, you can save or save as um, a PDF or an Illustrator file, or you can export it as a, a JPEG, or save it for web as a JPEG or GIF file. And any problems, write me an email or give me a bell. Thank you very much.